welcome to another episode of the Power Oil Healthy Food Series where I show you how to make lots of healthy and mouth-watering delicacies using the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. Eating healthy is one of the best things that you can do for your body and it's also very important that you're mindful of what goes into your tummy. Cooking oils are a great addition to any delicacy especially because they are one of the major components of creating flavorful and tasty meals. The Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil is a healthy cooking oil and unlike their unbranded counterparts, they have no cholesterol or trans fat whatsoever. They are fortified with vitamins A and E and omega-6 and 9, which makes them exceptionally great for your heart. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very healthy recipe that makes use of loads and loads and loads of green vegetables. It's an easy recipe that you can create for your lunch, or you can also have it for dinner as well. And it's something I call sauteed vegetables with boiled yams. Are you ready to learn how this is made? Let's get right into the cooking action, shall we? For this, you would need some shredded ugu and green vegetables, tomato and pepper puree, some spices and seasonings, chicken breast, onions, some yams, salt and of course the power oil pure vegetable oil all right guys so to get things started on this recipe i'm going to start with browning the chicken we want to build up loads and loads of flavor in this dish so um i just have to brown the chicken slightly so that the flavor is built up i'm starting with my favorite kitchen companion which of course is my power oil the healthiest vegetable oil in Nigeria and I'm just gonna let this oil heat up slightly so the oil is hot enough now what I'm gonna do next is just grab my chicken that I've cut in bite sized pieces I'm using some chicken breast for this but obviously you can use some thighs or drumsticks if that's what you have available and chicken is a great and affordable source of protein I mean who doesn't like chicken right <laughs> so all of the chicken pieces will go into the pot and you get the sizzle guys <laughs> So I'm going to fry this in batches so that they brown evenly and they crisp up um, really well. I haven't seasoned the chicken at all. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just season it slightly with some salt. And then add some pepper as well. Of course, you can definitely season this before you put it inside the pot. But um, Speedy speedy, we're all about making our meals really fast and quick and this is one fast way to spice up the chicken while it's frying, okay? So just pay close attention to it. Okay, so this is browned perfectly now. I'm just gonna take it out. It will come back into the pot to finish up its cooking process. In the same oil, I'm going to go ahead and saute some onions that I've chopped. Next up, I'm just going to grab my tomato pepper blend base. Now, in this base, I have some tomatoes, tatashe, chili bell peppers. I have some um, atarodo. I have onions and I have some garlic as well. And I think I also put some ginger in it. So you can put whatever it is that you like in yours. It's totally fine. Everything is just going to go in like so. I'll just give this a stir. I'll just season with some paprika powder. I'll also add some seasoning cubes to this. I'll put some cumin powder. This is totally optional, but I like the flavor it adds to the dish. Some crayfish, some ground pepper, and then finally, a sprinkle of salt. I'll give this a quick stir to combine. Afterwards, I'll just cover up the pot and allow this to cook for eight to 10 minutes until the liquid content is perfectly dried out. So while the sauce is cooking, I'll just proceed to cooking the yams. I'll start by salting the water slightly and then I'll throw in all of my yam pieces that I've cut in tiny slices. You can cut your yams in whatever slice or whatever shape that you desire. We'll just cover up the pot now and allow this to cook until it's tender. So five minutes into cooking the tomato pepper blend mix, 
go ahead and throw in the chicken pieces so that they can also cook in the sauce. The aroma in my kitchen at this point is heavenly! <laughs> so it's time to add the green vegetables and I'm using a mix of two vegetables. I'm using the ugu leaves also known as pumpkin leaves and I'm also using what we popularly call green, which is also known as African spinach. And consuming a large quantity of green vegetables help to replenish blood in the body, especially if blood loss was experienced, right? And then the iron content in the green vegetables, along with other minerals contained in the vegetables, also help boost the amount of blood in the body. And that's the reason why this is a miracle, miracle, miracle worker, and is one um, food ingredient that you should consume at a high level as much as you can every day of your life okay so next up i'm just going to open up the pot and just put all of this into the pot and you guys this miracle walker is also packed with lots of antioxidants that help protect the immune system and it's also a great source of dietary fiber so i'm just trying to let you know the the, the health benefits of this wonder food so that you can consume more of it all the time Okay, so I have a heaping load. You can add as much as possible. The more, the better. But just ensure that it is well balanced out with the tomato sauce you have made. You do not want the leaves. Um, you still want your um, sorted vegetables quite saucy. You don't want it too dry. Okay, so what I like to do is I've put in the vegetables now, but I'm not going to give it a stir. I will just cover the pot and allow the steam to wield the vegetables for about a minute and then I would open up the pot and then by doing that it will be so much more easier for you to stir up the vegetables without making a mess on your countertop okay so let's just give it one minute and then we'll come back and stir it okay open up this oh guys and then just give this a quick stir just to combine the vegetables and the sauce. This is a great way to consume loads and loads of veggies. You see how the vegetables have wilted. My yams are already done and ready for serving. I'll just give this one final stare. All right, guys, I'm going to take it off the heat immediately and it's time to serve. guys already all know that the taste test is my favorite part of the entire cooking process and this meal is the definition of a balanced diet you get everything from this meal the yams give you the right amount of carbohydrates the chicken is a good a good source of protein the vegetables provide all the minerals and vitamins that you need and of course it's saucy so you have some water in it so you know that and then it has lots of fiber as well so you know that eating this thing, eating, eating this meal and drinking lots of water, you are enjoying a balanced diet. So ensure you make this at home for your family and friends, okay? And for yourself. <laughs> I mean, I already know what it tastes like. But just to help tantalize your taste buds a little bit, I have to give it a taste. It tastes absolutely divine. Ensure you try out this recipe and incorporate more green vegetables into your diet. It will do your body a whole lot of good. And do not forget to use the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. Take good care of your heart, okay? And of course, this oil is the healthiest oil to cook with. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Oh, yeah.